In 1984, Infocom made a very difficult Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy text adventure game. Twenty years later, the BBC remade it and released it for free, including some visuals for each environment, which didn't change whenever you interacted with the items. This was made entirely in Flash. Ten years after that, in 2014, as the server which the previous version was on was going to be demolished, they remade it again into the 30th anniversary version in HTML5. They added some new and silly interface options as well. This game will kill you many times, so it can help to save your progress. In this BBC version, you can only use the save and restore commands by first making an account with them, which requires a valid email address and UK postcode. With an account made, when you save your progress, you just give it a code word, which you can restore later. Though these files are only stored locally, they won't be available if you change device. If you feel like guessing and a bit of fun, there are some public games saved from the 20th anniversary edition, and if you happen upon their code words, e.g. restore and cancel, you can find yourself at a different point in the game. To play this BBC version with voice recognition, you need Dragon Naturally Speaking to send your statements and do any corrections before sending. This combination works on Opera, Google Chrome, Firefox, but not Internet Explorer. As you go through the game you'll pick up items, and you'll need Dragon Naturally Speaking to go to the right and the left of this visual list. Alternatively, you can type Inventory to see a list of these items. I also came across another adaptation of the game, made into a basic HTML page being purely text with no visuals. You can save and restore at any point, although it does pretend you duplicated your commands here. For this you can use Dragon Naturally Speaking or Windows Speech Recognition, however it has issues on certain browsers. On Internet Explorer it won't accept Dragon's New Line or Next Line commands, you have to say press Enter, although Dragon is fine with all the other browsers. On all browsers I tested, they will accept Windows Speech Recognition's New Line command, but after every command it stops selecting the text entry area, so you always need to say page down or press down before doing your next thing. Although if you install Vocola 3 you can make a fix for this, with a command New Line, intercepting the standard New Line command, which will press Enter, wait a moment, then press down. If you are going to use Windows Speech Recognition, Internet Explorer is the best option because there you can at least correct your words before sending. Whichever game and browser you choose, it's worth having the manual in an adjacent browser tab to tell you how to do things like speaking to people, doing actions with items on named characters, and so on. One thing it tells you is that you can send multiple actions by separating them with a full stop. This sounds like you could use it as an alternative to the save and restore functions, by pasting in pre-made sentences, but the BBC version won't let you paste text into it, and the text-only version would only accept four or five consecutive statements pasted in. The remaining commands were ignored. So while you can save your preferred root of statements in a text file, it would still be time-consuming to re-enter them later. So grab your towel and prepare for a very difficult time.